Yo, 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 what's going on to all my sports peeps out there? It's your favorite sports podcast. But if you don't know the name, you know, you know we got to put you on game. It's the Zone Sports Podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm one half of the host, your boy, Big V. You hear my guy over there with all his air horns and all his North Carolina splendor. You know what I mean? Let them know who you be, my G. Yo, it's your boy, C double O L. Always wondering what the hell. It's your boy, Corey. Never telling the same old tired story. It's your boy, Cool C. Never, ever, ever dated a floozy. For those out there in YouTube land. We got to sign up for y'all back. It's your boy, Corey Big Vito. What's up, man? You know, man, I, you know, I was in a great mood before the pod, you know, came on. And then, you know, I we log into the pod. I see you, you know, in your North Carolina splendor. So now I'm back feeling blue. You know what I mean? No pun intended. All pun intended. You know what I mean? Because we took an L on Saturday to Kentucky. But before we get into all that, I got to let them know who we sponsored by. We sponsored by my brand, Sky Zone Society. So make sure you shop on at skyzonesociety.bigcartel.com. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, you know, you got me feeling blue. Reminded me of the L that we took to Kentucky on Saturday, man. So you we know, gotta get our, we'll get our face back tonight. Oh, uh, who we got tonight? That's a damn good question. Who the hell do we got tonight? Let me see here. We got because it's in that it's in that Jumpman classic. Okay. Let's see here. We got Oklahoma. Okay. Right number seven. So I still yeah, I, 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 I still needed us to get that win against Kentucky I on hate Saturday. Kentucky. Man, like. That put me all in a jacked up. I hate, it's like it's almost like every time we play them, we lose to them. It's like and, and it's so close. It's rarely ever blowouts. It's just that that hmm, just can't quite. But Central the Entertainer say that they it just that curl it just won't quite curl right over when we play them. I don't know what it is, man. Yeah, and you know I got to tip my hat to um Kentucky real quick, man. What what a squad. Them boys were shooting their lights out. Did you hear me, bro? Them boys yeah. couldn't miss from three. You know what I'm saying? They was on fire. We only led one time during the whole game. You know what yeah. I mean? They had our number. I gotta tip my hat, man. Them boy, they hey, them boys was was I mean, it's like the the it's like the bucket was an ocean. They were just shooting it and it was it was all there the whole game, yeah. Corey. The whole yeah. game. Very whole frustrating. Game. You know what I mean? Yo, man. You know, I'm glad to be here, man. Shout out to everybody. Happy holidays. You know what I mean? Happy yeah. holidays to all the zoners out there in the zone sports podcast land. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got you. You feel me? But guess what? We got to start off with the what the hell segment. Corey, what we got going, baby? Ooh, for those who don't know, for those who don't, y'all who are new, this is brought to you. By my cute little baby girl downstairs who just stole my iPhone a few minutes ago. Um, I was able to get it back. Happy that she didn't dial anybody. Um, and happy that she didn't get me locked out. So this is brought to you by little Corey downstairs wreaking havoc as we speak. Okay. Um, co-sponsored by me, brainchild of Big Vito Colion. <sighs> you know, this was a deal, Big V, where coming into the day, I was like, man, it's kind of looking a little bit light for the what the hell's. Like I, I'm like, man, this this is kind of, woo! I'm gonna have to pull one out my rear end on this one. I, I and then last night happened, Big V. Okay, you know when I think of something small, <laughs> pause, no pause, however you want to take that. I think of something like a a penny, you know, penny or you know a newborn baby, just smart. Just, you could just hold that. But, you know, when my daughter was born, I could, I could almost just palm her in the palm of my hand. You know, Big V, I think of something small. I think of of of, of, of a cufflink. You know, you, you're getting all fresh and fun. You got the cufflink in that. You know, it's just something small. You yeah. know, a needle in a haystack. Something small, Big V. But you know what I don't think of that I think is small? What's that? Steph Curry. I don't think. I don't, I don't I don't look at him as being small at all, Big V. But you know who does? Who? You, you, you got Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. What Jalen did, man? You know, the game against Boston against Golden State was on last night, Big V. It was. I, 
I didn't get a chance to to see the game or, or you know, I fell asleep during halftime. It, yeah, me know, too. Me too. Same. Still 30 games. You know what it is. And so this morning I'm watching the highlights. And they say, you know, I see that Jalen Brown scores on Steph Curry. And after he scores, he does this number. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I've seen this done before. And I don't really like it depending upon who it's done for. You know, this was... The, the first time I saw it was with Patrick Beverly when he did it, if I'm not mistaken, to LeBron James when he got traded to Chicago or whatever. Okay. Might have done it before, but that's the first one that I remember. And then my guy Austin Reeves came back a few plays later on Project uh, uh, Patrick Beverly. He got said, him. No, oh, no, nah, nah, you don't do my guy like that. I scored on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Jalen Brown, you know. I respect, you know, this was difficult because I respect Jalen Brown. I really do respect this guy. But you're doing this against a four-time champion. You're doing this against the greatest shooter of all time. You're doing this against what Shaq would say, a guy who belongs in the GOAT conversation. This is who you're doing this with. You're doing this to NBA Finals MVP Steph Curry. Of all the people on the court, you could do too small to. That's the guy you do it to. Oh, oh, but let, 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 let me read out some stats. You know, we like stats on this show, Big V. Absolutely. Jalen Brown, now he got 28 points last night. Okay, good guy. Oh, that's good. That's great. You know, Stephon Curry, a.k.a. Jesus, you know, he got 33. Stephon Curry, you know, I'm calling him Stephon because he more from Steve Urkel to, to Stephon. That's how ill that Steph Curry still is. Y'all still better put some respect on my guy's name. That's the guy that's just, so let me get this straight. You know, I just said four-time NBA champion. Oh, real, real cool, you know, with two of those with KD. Okay. Well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Well, he got one before KD. If I'm not mistaken, he got one after KD. So if you want to take four from two, ain't no math guy. That's still two more championships than you got, Mr. Jalen Brown. Now I look, I get you. You got your you got your contract. You know, you got your your five hundred billion zillion dollar contract. I feel that. Hey, salute, man. But man, you better stay in your place, bro. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. And by the way, the game went to what? The double overtime last night? Yep. Oh, and if I'm not mistaken, Jesus, Jesus hit the go ahead three pointer to make y'all lose last night? That's the guy that's too small. <laughs> oh, let, let, me, let me get it straight. When you had your finals run, it's almost like you forgot how to dribble. During that playoff run, you turned into the turnover machine. Well, 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 Corey, well, you know, with Steph Curry, I mean, when they won, Andre Iguodala, he was named the MVP. Okay. Okay. So, okay, so you want to take the two away from Kevin Durant when he was there. You still want to take one away from the year that Andre Iguodala got the MVP. There's still one more NBA Finals MVP than you got, and there's still one more championship than you got. Jalen Brown. And, and not only that. Because I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're thinking. Well, well, you know, Steph Curry, you know, he does the whole putting people to sleep. You know, he, he, he likes to poop on the court. He likes to do all that. And you know what? He can do that. He can do it because he's Jesus playing basketball. He can do that because he's a four-time NBA champion. He can do that because he's an NBA Finals MVP. He can do that because he has revolutionized the game not just in the NBA, in college, in Pop Warner. You don't dare fix your hands to sit up here and say, Steph Curry, it's too small. And if you're going to do – and then let me give you another thing real quick about Steph Curry with his celebration, since we, since people may want to bring that up. At least his celebrations are original. No, you're biting off a pro – you're biting off a Project Patrick Beverly with the celebration. Dude, come on. Dude, you're dope enough. Get original and get your own celebrations, man. Jalen Brown, what the hell? I'm through with this guy. I, I can't. I, I... Well, you know, in his defense, the too small thing is a trend that, you know, that 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 
that people do, you know, and it's it's from college to, to women's sports too and all over to his defense. But to not his defense, you know, I'm with you, Corey. If I'm Jalen Brown, I don't do that for all those reasons that you said, but one more reason to too that maybe might have should have been number one. Uh, our locker room might still have the champagne smell in there for when they won the championship in the Ooh. Boston building. Do you remember that, Jalen? Do, 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 do you remember that? Is, is, the, is the locker room, does it still have the champagne smell? The is the, is the, 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 yes. the champagne stench from when the last time somebody won a championship that wasn't y'all in y'all Ooh. building? Forgot about that. I'm, I'm, I, I, I know what you're saying. Well, uh, no, it don't smell. How how would he know? Because they popped the champagne in the visitor locker room. Well, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. 11, 12 players on the team, plus the coaches, staff. That's about 15, 20 people. I'm pretty sure all of them had a bottle of champagne. I'm pretty sure the champagne smell was seeping through the vents in the other locker room. I'm pretty sure, Corey. I'm pretty sure. And I know for a fact. That it was not because they were popping loser champagne in the Celtic locker room. No, it was because Mr. Sleepy put y'all to bed. Paul, he did. So no, you right, Corey. You 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 got some balls to sit here and try to loot a man still. Please stop. No, Jay. Of all the people in the world, you want to get going? No. No, you don't. You don't loot a man. Somebody that was in your building shooting the ball, turn around, looking and asking the crowd to go in and heading down opposite end of the court. You just don't. You just don't. But you know what? It's it's niggas like you and niggas like uh uh uh, uh Halliburton that was poking Mr. Dame time of the night too. Hey, let, yeah. me, tell you, let me tell you, Mr. Halliburton. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> on the you on the clock? You on the clock for the next time you see Dame? I saw when he did that. Well, and boy, let me tell you, man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. He going. He he he's checking the schedule. He let me tell you. Dame is like Santa Claus to you now, nigga. He's checking the list, and he's checking it twice, and he looking for when he play y'all. Boy, it's a fifty piece yeah, on that is. schedule. It's a fifty piece on that schedule for you. A fifty piece. But yeah. hey, man, hey. Let's keep the NBA because I like this energy, core. Last yeah. night, ladies and gentlemen of the Zone Sports Podcast, Mr. John Morant, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> AKA, you know what I mean? AKA, wave the pistol in the club. You feel me? AKA, a smack your favorite 16 year old. You heard me. He came back last night. You heard me. He did. And guess what he did? He dropped off the Pelicans for that game-winning shot at the buzzer, Corey. I it did was, see that one. You know what I mean, Corey? Before I share my thoughts, I gotta get, I gotta get, man, um, your thoughts on the return of Mr. Ja Morant, man. And you know, you also forgot to mention one of my favorite clubs that I that I've never been to that I got to go to. Um, Shotgun Willies. Um, that was the club that John Morant was at uh, when he flashed the gun the first time. So I got to go to Shotgun Willies because I just like the damn. I got just. I just like the damn name of it. I might have to Google Shotgun Willies and see like the next time I. I don't even know where it's at. I don't know what coach is on. I don't know if it's down south. I just know I want to go the Shotgun Willies. Maybe, maybe we can do a podcast from there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, with our vest on, no doubt. You know what I'm saying with tactical gear. You know what, man. I was checking for this game. My, my wife, she came home and she was like, why are you watching this game? I'm like, yeah, you know, because, you know, she sees the the record of, of Memphis only having six wins um, against, you know, New Orleans. Yeah. Which is, is, is kind of hit or a miss. And I said, well, honey, I said, I ain't going to front. I said, John Morant's back. And I said, I like John Morant. I, I do. I just, I like, I mean, the game. I like his game. Um, and he is still a guy that I still tend to root for throughout all the matters. But I will say that he's on his last, I think this is it. You know, he's on that Draymond Green special. I don't think he got any more chances left. Now, to the game. He started off rusty like I thought he would. Um, got his first um, uh, basket um, from the free throw line. Um, and then I think he hit like a, a two or three afterwards or whatnot. Um, and then the second half happened. 
And I said, oh, my damn, this is the job that I remember before he left. The same fire pit bull of a ferocious killer driving to the basket. And I don't know what that play does for him long term. I think he's going to have to eventually develop a jumper. But from a fan standpoint and from an entertainment value, I thought it was awesome. That's the job that I remember. It seems like he just needed a half just to get in lock and step. He was, I mean, he made people just look like they gliding on grease on the bottom of their shoe when he's on the court. And I tell you what, that daggone buzzer beater at the end, I mean, you couldn't have scripted a better comeback to that. If I'm not mistaken, what, 25, 27 points in the second half? Like, the, 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 the way that he plays, man, he is must-see. I've said this before, and i say it again. I know hindsight's 2020, but I know this was the battle of the first and second uh, uh, picks in, in their respective draft class, whatever year that was. And I said it then. I said it before. I said it right now. Ja won, okay? From a from an on-the-court standpoint. I ain't talking about nothing, you know, to the uh, 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 Zion Williamson issues are on the court and availability. Uh, you know, John Morant stuff is off the court. Man, if that guy could stay focused, man, and just develop a somewhat of a mid-range shot, John Morant, he's it, 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 already a problem. And I think with some maturity just in his game as well as off the court stuff, he's a problem that was a hell of a game to see last night. Hold on, Corey. My, my phone ring. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Hello? Yo, what's good, bro? Yeah, yeah, y'all seen the game last night. Yeah, yeah, man. We we on the podcast now talking about you, man. Let, let me hit you right back, man. You know what I mean? Let me hit you right back real quick. Pa pa pardon me. Yeah, that was you know what I mean that was that was Ja, you know what I mean? That was Ja Morant tapping in with me. Let me, you know, he had to tap in. Let me, he asked me that I see the game last night. He know yeah. we, he, he know we filming tonight, so he wanted to know what we talking about, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, I got this. Oh, the sneakers too. You know the John Morant oh. sneakers. You know what I mean? You know, oh. you know what I'm saying. You know, yeah. you know what I mean. You know, you know. I just had to. You know what I mean? I just had to. You know, bring him on to the. You know the pod because you know, you know, Corey. It's it's what the he, he what the game been missing, baby. Let's just He's call very it. Exciting. Let's yeah. just call it what it is, man. We seen other players here. Giannis dropping sixty four. This person dropping fifty over here. It's been it's been some great. Quality individual games that have been highlighted, Corey. But guess what, man? It ain't. It ain't. It ain't, it, it, it ain't had. It ain't had that shit in it this season. Yeah. You heard? It just ain't yeah. had that shit, man. I just gotta yeah. say what it is. John Morant is that shit in the NBA, dog. And off yeah. last, off last night, Corey, he proved it. He proved it, yo, yo. The, the announcers kept saying how gassed he looked, and um. For those that don't know, he has he has still been able to be around the team. He has still been practicing everything like that. He just couldn't be at the games and, and traveling and things of that nature. But um, man, I'm with you, Corey. What a what a what a what a what a, what a great way to welcome yourself back after a 25 game suspension, baby. What well, yeah. what a game winner! And if you was watching the game last night. He was telling them niggas last night that was too small too, and that's what the game been missing. It's yeah, been, you call, you know you know what get me hate about my nigga Ja? He from that Kobe club, baby. He yo, yeah. it's that Kobe top, bro, bro. Listen, man, it's only a few a handful of people that's cut, that's cut from that Kobe club. Kyrie Irving is cut from that, and this is no particular order. Kyrie Irving cut from that Kobe cloth. You know what I mean? Uh, 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 Brandon Ingram, he cut from that Kobe cloth. I gotta tip my hat to Bi too. Can't yeah, he had a hell of a game oh, last boy. night. Man. But when when don't he though? When yeah, don't right. he though? He cut from that cloth. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, who, who Luca? He cut from that Kobe cloth, man. Um, it's a couple others, man, and Ja is definitely cut. From that Kobe cloth, man. He's cut from that that killer, that that up up, bro. I tell people all the time, man, when they want to compare LeBron and Kobe and Mike, listen, man. No disrespect. I know. LeBron won't ever be able to fuck with Kobe or Mike, in my opinion, dog. Ever. I'm sorry. Is I'm I'm just sorry. I don't care about the numbers. 
I don't care he had the most points. I don't care. I'm going off the eye test. When I watch the game, I know I know how Kobe assassinated Pippen and the Blazers, dog. I was there for it. Killers, man. I was man. there, the dog. I'm talking about unbelievable shots. Like, like, yeah. like you, you can't even imagine he, how he was out there a one man. I ain't going to say one man because Shaq was there too. You know what I mean? But, but. We you everybody know that it's two kind of killers, man. You got the yeah. one that want that want to shoot you from long range with the scope, lay down and get in a position and all that. Then it's the kind of killers, Corey, that just don't give a damn. Gonna run in your crib, bare face, up close and personal. They're gonna tell you their name and give you their address because they ain't no coming back from the gun, Corey. And that's who Kobe was. That's who yeah. Tom Brady is, Corey. He yeah. is the killer, up close and personal. LeBron ain't no up close and personal killer. I'm sorry, but this ain't about LeBron. It's about John Morant. And Corey, he looked the boys in their eye last night. He said, he, he said, he said he wanted to set up a play for his home. He said the coach said, yo, call 12. Call 12. That's what he said. The coach said, Corey, call 12. For those who don't know, that is John Morant's number. The coach said, yo, we call him 12. Corey, I don't, I, listen, listen, I don't Ooh. even mess with tw tw 12 is another name in the streets for the police. Only 12 I mess with, Corey, is John Morant. And let me tell you, man, he looked the boy dead in the eye last night with the gun, no mask on. He went in their crib and told them, give up the shit, Corey. That's what he told them. And guess what they did, Corey? They gave it up. They gave it up. They ain't give it up easy, but guess what, man? He took their face off in the end, Corey. He yeah. took their face off, man. That was a hell of a game. Hell of a game, Corey. That was a hell of a game, man. I I'm so glad he's back. And, Corey, and let me tell you, man, he been sitting back watching all you little little guards doing y'all thing here and there. And guess it's been cute. It's been cute, but it is over. It is back. over for all that. He's back. The shit talking is back. The authority is back. It. You know what I mean? And I love it. I, I love, love it. it, dog. I love it. Let's go, Ja. I'm saluting you. Your Just nose clean, brother. Keep your nose your clean. Heart. We got you, big dog. You know what I mean? Let's still keep it NBA, though, Corey. Yeah. You know, you know, you bought up draft classes, and um, and this current past year's draft class, you know, we had Win Beyond to go number one. Yeah. Um, a lot of a lot of the you know people that um, the in America really didn't get a chance to see you know what he did overseas. So a lot of people have been kind of just foreign to his game, even myself. So um, every chance I've gotten to watch him this season, I've watched. And um, it leads me to this question. I just got to get your opinion on, Corey. Um, I don't know how much of Wimbiana, um you've seen. You know, I'm a big eye test guy. I'm not really, um, you know, I, I, I'm I eye test first and stats last. The eye exactly. test can tell you stuff that the stat sheet can't. Um, is Wimby overrated? No. No, no, not by far. Not not by far, man. Listen, I, I get it. The record is ass trash. Like, I, I got it. Like you wanna you wanna argue that? Like, okay, that's fine. The question was posed to me is Victor Wimbenyama yes. overrated? Yes. Oh no, dude. He this dude was averaging damn near 20 points and, and 11 rebounds a game. That's not Oh, he's 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 probably about where he needs to be. Okay. Now, I haven't watched as probably as many San Antonio games as you have. I just got the lead pass um last week. Um, y'all always wait till they get a little fifty dollars special going on. I could I could wait a couple of months. So I just really started checking out San Antonio game, just like you to see him. And you know, I mean, he does everything that you're asking a number one pick to do. Right. Yeah. 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 You want more wins. I, like no question. Like I don't like clearly when LeBron and other players came in, you know, hype and stuff like that. You know, no, the record was not this bad. I'm not going to hold you on that. Um, honestly, I think that they are clearly in rebuilding mode. Honestly, I think that San Antonio is failing him at this specific moment um, because you knew you was going to get Victor Wimbenyama. You know, you like you know that since the draft lottery of earlier this year, you knew that. 
So I don't understand why more wasn't been done to surround this guy. Here, let, let, let me read out. Let, let me read out some 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 people on this roster. Okay. And you know, I mostly watch Tar Hill College basketball. But when I tell you, I'm, I'm gonna go down the list super duper quick because I want you to tell me out of this group who you heard of. Dominique Barlow, Charles Bassey, or Bassey. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that name right. Stone Charles, Charles Badacchio, <laughs> Malachi Braham, Julian Champagne, Sydney Cisco, Zach Collins, I've heard of him, David Duke Jr., Devontae Graham, we heard of him, Keldon Johnson, heard of him, Trey Jones, eh, it might be hit or a miss. Sandro Malika, like his last name is Machiavelli. Okay, I don't even know how to pronounce that last name. Doug McDermott, I heard of him. Seti Osman, never heard of him. Jeremy Sohan, I remember him, I heard of him. Devin Vassell and Blake Wesley. Ladies and gentlemen, I just read out the entire roster of the San Antonio Spurs for this year. Cool. Can we get some veterans over there? <laughs> like two or three. I mean, Zach, you want to argue Zach Collins? Okay, all right, fine. Can we get a notable? Uh, 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 um, it, I think San Antonio has failed him. So, no, to answer your question, no, he's not overrated. He is right where he's at. Um, his organization at this moment, as of 7 58 p.m., December the 20th, stinks. What say you, Big Vito? I think he's overrated, Corey. Oh, come on. I think he's overrated. I think he's overrated. I think he's overrated. Um, I've watched a couple of games, Corey, and the ones I've seen look soft. Look soft. Look soft, Corey. Um I, I for all the hype, and maybe and maybe um and for me, maybe it's the hype that you know that's behind him that I just don't see it. I don't I don't see what all the fuss is about. To be quite honest with you. I don't. I don't. I, I think that. Um, I don't think he's using his height like he needs to. I think he's relying on his jumper a lot, and I know that's the game. But well, I agree with you on that. I'm gonna be real with you. Zion looks a lot faster than him. Mm. And let me tell you, by the way, Zion is hooping. Don't get to me, dog. Listen, man. I watched that big dude come down the court, and I'm telling you. Nobody's gonna nobody is standing away when he goes to the when he goes to the hoop. And let me tell you, and let me tell you, man, he's quite agile for his size. He's quite he's quick and nifty for his size. I'm telling y'all, man. Yo, I've been catching a couple of games with Zion. I like I like where he's going if he continues to stay healthy and stay on this path. Back to Wimby. Think he's soft. Think he's overrated, Corey. And again, mm. um, th I want to be clear about what I'm saying too. I think he's been overrated within these past handful of games that they've had, 20 whatever games, however it is. I don't know how many. Um, I think that he has time to grow into okay. what, the me what the media has said that he was going to be this year. Okay. Um, again, I'm coming I'm, I'm coming in off of having had hardly seen any of his game, you know what I mean, due to him being an overseas player and coming over here. Excuse me. I'm base. I'm just basing my my opinion off the games that I've seen him play, which is maybe a good four or five at this point in the season. I see the clips and the highlights and things like that of that nature, but um, and I know the stats. But when I watch him, he seems a little slow. Um, he's not as physical as I thought that he would be. Um, I don't think that he's using his full potential. Uh, as far as um, his handles, driving the ball. I think it's a lot more that he could be doing. I think he's deferring to a lot of the no-name players that you just read about. Um, I'm, I want I want to see him take the game over on some MB type. You know what I mean? On some Giannis. That's what I thought he was going to be more of, of a more physical, more gritty player like Giannis. You know what I mean? But he has time. He has time. Does I, do I think he has potential to be where the media said that he is uh, – and said that he is now with all the hype, absolutely. But right now, in my book today, it's a bit overrated, man. And you know, I tell you what, the, 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 go ahead. I'm about to say, and it could be, uh, you know, the, the, just the the team. I, I thought it was maybe like all the L's that the team was taking, but no, it's been plenty of great players 
that have went crazy on terrible teams, such as Chris Webber when he went to the Warriors. You know what I mean? Yeah. They were terrible. But he was a great rookie and played with all the hype that came with him. Yeah. Well, you know, one, one thing that I, I do agree with you on is that he takes way too many threes. And you can argue that about a lot of people. The, given his hype, man, I'm like, yo, if, if if I'm Coach Pop, I'm like, dude, I don't want to see you on an arc at all. Go like, to the hole. All I need you to do is post up. If you ain't around that paint, I mean, make sure not to get a three-second. But, man, load up on that paint. Man, who's, who's going to block that guy? He barely has to jump to dunk. That's my point. That's my point. That's why I feel like he's a, you know, he's, I don't know. But you, but you not saying he's a bust. You just think he's overrated. Oh, no, I definitely think he's a bust. Absolutely. Okay. He's definitely not a bust. No, Wimby is not a bust. You know what I mean? It's just these couple of games that, that, that the league has had already, 20, 20, 20, within the 25 game span, the 30 game span, I just think that he's been a bit overrated. That's all. Definitely. That's it. Definitely. The Eagles are looking overrated. We yeah, we switching gears like that. We going back. We going into the NFL. We switching gears like that on some segue. You know what I mean? Yo, man, Corey. The Eagles have lost three games straight now. 49ers, Cowboys, and they just recently lost to who did they lose to Sunday night? Seattle. Um, Seattle. What a hell of a game. Corey, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna throw a stat out there. Um during the game, they they flashed the stat that Dallas are, are like zero and seven against Pete Carroll or something like that. Mm. Like that that is I didn't know. I I didn't know that. Okay. Not Dallas, part of not Dallas, part of me. Philly. The Eagles, Philly. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't know that. I did not know that. I did not know Philly had been down bad when they went against Pete Car Carroll. But I had to take into the account of. Pete Carroll, he he coached that great defense that they had. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, it's hard to let alone when you go to Seattle. It's hard to win in Seattle back then with the uh, 12th man, everything they had going on. You know what Legion I'm saying? Major the boom. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I could see that happening. You know what I mean? Uh, given the fact of some of the teams that Philly has had in the past, some was all right, some were great, some were not. But still, I did not. I I, I was thinking that maybe they could have stole one game, but no, they're about. 0-7 here and there. Um, Corey, like, what's going on with the Eagles, man? You know what? I, 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 I It's more of a, a hypothesis more than anything because on paper there shouldn't be anything wrong. And, I agree. You know, and 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 you have Hurts really calling out the team um, in the sense saying, you know, they're not as focused and motivated as they need to be. And I'm just like, whoa, what, what is going on? You know, it does make you wonder. Um, you know, I think that uh, uh, it hurts his knee ain't where it needs to be. Um, for one, you know, I, I kind of noticed that you know he don't scramble as much as he can, or he's not as agile with the mobility as he once was. Um, and honestly, I think that you know you would think that all the close wins that they had would kind of galvanize them to a certain point. Um, but it just it just hasn't. But I think I think it's something going on. With with his knee, to really be honest with you, I think it's some more things going on behind the scenes that we just don't know yet. But something clearly is going on because on paper, I just I just don't get it. I don't get it. What say you? I don't. Nothing sticks out to me. Um, I'm with you, Corey. Nothing really sticks out to me. Um, they've been a real first class organization of just keeping everything in house how it needs to be. Don't really hear yeah. too many feuds going on. Although I did, um. Um, noticed that the announcer was saying that um, there had been a defensive coaching change that was kind of kept low key. Yeah, you know what I mean, with Mike Patricia. Yeah, you know what I mean, and um, him uh, switching roles with uh, somebody that's in the booth and said Mike Patricia was now calling the plays. Yeah. Um. But well, keep in mind too, they also lost their offensive coordinator after the Super Bowl last year. I mean, maybe it's just all starting to manifest now. I don't. Or, or Corey, my other thought was maybe not, maybe now y'all maybe they're just starting to play some good teams. You know what I mean? Going hey. back to the old wins, Corey. Before I came on the podcast, I was going through all the wins. A lot of them wins, Corey. They they haven't been really blowout wins. They've been contested dubs. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, tight wins, Corey. Like with the exception of maybe one here or there. 
they've been some really close games prior to them losing. You know what I mean? Yeah. All the wins haven't been like no 70 to whatever on some uh, Miami Dolphins type. You know what I mean? No. Mm. They've been relatively close games, Corey. And maybe, you know, with this bulk of the schedule we're here with Dallas and 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 um and um uh who the uh, who else did they just lose to uh the 49ers. Um yeah. maybe that was kind of the test of you know kind of showing what they were made of, so to speak. And with Seattle, I just thought they would win that game because Seattle yeah. holistically and, and didn't play. Gino didn't play, and holistically, they're not a really good football team. They may can sneak in, you know, on some wild card if somebody loses out, so to speak. Who they're like? I mean, they just barely cracked five hundred last night. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not last yeah. night, but when they play uh, the Eagles Monday night, um, yeah. they're like seven and seven now. Um, that's, cra- that's crazy. It's crazy, and now they're saying Philly is in- looking at a wild card huh, at ten and four. That that's they- crazy. They have to – okay, so let me give you their schedule since November the 5th. Dallas, Kansas City, Buffalo, San Francisco, Dallas again. I mean, that is kind of a, a hell of That's a tough. schedule. That's but, tough. But now, I will say this. They need to get in playoff mode now. Because these next three games, Big V, they ought to win. New York, yep. Yep. Arizona, yep. New York again. Yeah. They have, If they want to compete against my guys – because we're going for that number one spot so we get that first round by. They need to go 3-0 and the next three weeks. Yeah. I was looking at the schedule before we came on. I was thinking they should win the next three games. I thought they was going to beat Seattle, though, Corey. If I was going to, you know, bet some bread I think that's that night. A tough loss. I was going to I was going to bet they was going to beat Seattle. But, um, man, I don't know. I don't know, man. I'm 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 thinking they should win these next three games, but I don't know what's going on, man. I, I don't know. They're not looking like the same team that uh was ten and two a couple weeks ago. Yeah. They're just not, man. Um, I don't know if the secret is out. Um, I don't know if anything is going on, you know, that's being kept on the wraps. Uh I'm or or Jalen isn't a hundred percent. You know what I mean? I d I don't know. Um we're gonna have to find out. We we'll find out uh next three games, you know what I mean? And if they lose any of these three games, Corey. That's gonna be a major stain on that record. You know what I mean? I mean it's gonna it's already trickling down with Seattle, in my opinion. Now, if you yeah. lose to Arizona and the Jets twice. Ooh. Nah. I, mm. You mm. can't do that. Can't, can't do, do that, man. Can't do it, man. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that be tuning in every week, you know what I mean? Watching the Zone Sports Podcast, whether you're catching the YouTube, we're catching on the YouTube, the whole video, or you're watching the clips and shorts on Twitter, YouTube. How are you catching it, man? Pause. We'll appreciate y'all, man. Make sure you're following us now on our new Instagram page, at the Zone Sports Podcast. You know what I mean? We're cooking up daily clips every single day, you know what I mean? Yo, man. Corey, I appreciate you. You know what I mean? I appreciate everybody that be tapping in. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank y'all so much, man. We cannot do this without y'all, man. We growing every week, every month. Pause. And we appreciate every single one of y'all, you know what I mean, with the feedback and the viewership. Definitely, man. Definitely. Corey, right. man, yo, you have a good evening, man. You know what I mean? Same I be here. my guy. You know what I mean? I'll be hitting you up later on this week. They got we got some good sports games coming up this coming up weekend. I'm gonna be tapping in with you, you know what I mean? But for now, y'all know how we end this thing, right? Peace. Peace.